Hello good day viewers. I'm only here to make a clarification about the last exponential equation I solved. During the process, I factorized two functions. Let me see if I can remember. Um, 6 to the power of x minus 9 to the power of x. Yes, this is what I factorized. I factorized this as 3 to the power of x multiplied by 2 to the power of x minus 3 to the power of x. And uh, I could recall two or three people said no. This is not how it should be. It should be 3 multiplied by 2 to the power of x minus 3 to the power of x. But this is very wrong. Honestly, this is not true. But let me make it clear for you. Remember one of the laws of indices, which says that if you have a multiplied by b, all of them raised to a single power, let's see y. This can be written as a power of this y multiplied by b power of the same power y. If this is true, let us make a kind of substitution here. Let a equal to 2, b equal to 3. So wherever we see a, we write 2 and b equal to 3. So this is 2 multiplied by 3 raised to the power of y, right? Since we can distribute the power, we can say, okay, 2 raised to the power of y multiplied by 3 raised to the power of y. 2 raised to the power of y multiplied by 3 raised to the power of y. But you know that from law of arithmetic, we can simplify the bracket first, if we like. So we can say 2 multiplied by 3, it will give us 6, all right? So this can also be written as 6 to the power of y. It means that this is equal to this. Likewise, this is also equal to that. And hence, these two are also the same. Can you see that 2 to the power of y multiplied by 3 to the power of y is equal to 6 to the power of y? Why didn't we say that this is the same thing as 2 multiplied by 3 to the power of y? Why can't we say that this 6 raised to the power of y is the same thing as this? This is not true because that power is shared among the terms under the bracket. Likewise, if you should take this one and multiply by this, let's see whether we're going to get this one back. If we say 3 raised to the power of x multiplied by 2 to the power of x from that law, we can give them a single power. So this is equal to 3 multiplied by 2 all raised to the power of x. And 3 multiplied by 2, remember, is 6 raised to the power of x. Can you see that? It is exactly equal to this. And if you do the same thing, 3 raised to the power of x multiplied by negative 3 to the power of x, you shall obtain negative 9 to the power of x. Remember, let me do that one as well. If we say 3 raised to the power of x multiplied by 3 to the power of x, this is the same thing use the laws of indices, one of the laws. We can take one base and add the powers, and this is the same thing as 2x. And if it is 2x, 3 to the power of 2 is 9. So this is equal to 9 to the power of x. Can you see that? They are exactly the same. So you should know that it is not 3 multiplied by 2 to the power of x minus 3 to the power of x. This is not true. And this is all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. Do share to your learning colleagues and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more exciting videos. Bye bye.